Namaste yogis and welcome to the channel. I'm Sophie and today's class is a lyrical yoga flow. This class is dance inspired and will bring a little bit more movement, flow and feeling into the practice. Let's really enjoy our yoga today. When you're ready, let's start in child's pose at the back of the mat. Toes together, knees slightly wide, reach the arms long, melt the heart through, bring the forehead to the mat and just breathe here. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And as you inhale, can you expand through the back ribs? And as you exhale, can you sink deeper down towards the earth? Just take a couple more breaths in your own time, letting the outside world fade away, preparing you for your practice today. And then let's stretch the hands over to the right, find length from the fingertips all the way up the arm, over the shoulder, down through the spine, and sink your butt back over your heels. We'll take time to warm ourselves up. I don't know about you, but it's quite cold where I am. Now let's walk the hands over to the left. So it's really good to take some time to warm up and then come deep into our practice. Find that stretch a little more through the right side this time. And then come back through the center. Walk the hands just gently up towards the knees. Bring the knees into parallel with the hips. And then let's link the fingers round through the back of the body. Lift nice and high, open through the chest. Take the fingers behind you, open a little more through the heart. Then press nice and high once again. Take the right hand down, side stretch. Back through center, other side. Link the fingers round through the spine. Lift nice and tall. Take the fingers behind you once again. Open the elbows, open through the heart. Lift nice and high, stretching over to the left. Find length from the fingertips down through the arm and then sink the sit bones really on the heels. Come back through center once more each side. R link the fingers, exhale as you round. Inhale to lift, open a little more. Lifting high and this time let's take a twist bringing the left hand to the outside of the right knee, wrap the right arm behind you, open through the shoulder. Come back through center, last side. Round, lift, open, come high, twisting to the left. Come back through center, let's move on. Lifting tight to a kneeling position, bringing a little more movement into the body. Twisting to the right, open the arms wide. Come back through center, twisting to the left. Come back through center, circle the arms behind you, come through your tabletop position, then round through a cat, come through to an upward dog, open through the chest, and then pull back, child's pose. We're taking that two more times. Lifting nice and high, twisting to the right, back through center, to the left, back through center, open baby back bend as you round the arms behind you, come through your, your tabletop, through your cat, opening through the chest as you come through upward facing dog, Pull back, child's pose. Last time. Can you bring a little bit more movement, a bit more mobility into the body this time? As we start to warm up. Back through center and twist. Back through center, open wide. Come through your tabletop. Round through cat. Exhale, inhale as you come through upward facing dog. Pull back, child's pose. 
From here, first downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width, pressing strongly into the mat. Tuck the toes under, knees come off. Push the heels down towards the earth. Doesn't matter if they don't touch, that's just the direction they're traveling in. Chest comes through, find that stretch through the whole back line of the body. And then from there, pedaling through the feet, enjoying that stretch through the backs of the legs. Keep it nice and gentle, we're still warming up, preparing our body for class. And then from there, coming up on the balls of the feet, inhale. As you exhale, sinking the heels down towards the earth, grounding you there. Then let's lift the right leg high behind you. Draw it through, come to a kneeling lunge. From here, lift the arms, side stretch over. Take the left wrist, sink the hips through. Bring the hands inside the foot, so right hand inside of the right foot. Bring the left leg in, lifting the left arm high. From here, hands come down, turning to face me. Thread the needle, lifting the right arm high. Thread it through side of the shoulder, side of the head, come down towards the mat. Find that twist through the thoracic spine, so the mid spine. Then lift the arm high, lower it down, sink back over the heel, finding that stretch through the inner thigh. Deep breath, stay with the breath. Bringing the left hand down, reaching the right arm over, finding the side stretch from your fingertips right down to the outside edge of the right foot, then downward facing dog. We take the other side, lifting the left leg high. Draw it through. Find your lunge position. Square off the hips. Lift the arms. Take the right wrist, stretching over. Find that stretch through the front of the hip. Then bring the hands down inside the foot. Bring the right foot in a little, stretching the arm high. Bring the hands down to the mat. Reposition yourself. Thread the needle. Lifting the arm high, thread it through. Side of the shoulder, side of the head, come down. Lifting the arm high. We're gonna keep flowing these movements while we warm up. Bring the hand down, sinking back over the heel. We're not holding anywhere too long just yet. Deep breaths. Sending the energy around the whole body, keeping it flowing. Coming up, press the right hand down, lifting the arm over, side stretch. Hands come down, downward facing dog. We're taking that once again, just a few more variations this time. Lifting the right arm, right leg high. Draw it through, scoop through the belly. Place the back knee down, lifting the arms. Take the wrist, stretching over. See if you can find a little more length in your movements and your postures this time. Hands come down inside the foot, bring the left leg in, stretching the arm high. Hands come down, reposition yourself, lift the right arm high. Thread it through, side of the shoulder, side of the head, come down. Enjoy that twist. Lifting the arm high, lower it down, pull back. Keep your movements active, keep the muscles switched on. Then from there, left hand comes down, find your side stretch. Option here is take what we took before, or if you're ready, you can bring the knee high, or if you're ready again, you can take peace fingers to the big toe, stretch the leg high, and really press down into that supporting hand. Release, find your downward facing dog. Last side, lifting the left leg high. Draw it through. Bring the knee down, lift the arms. Find that stretch through the hip flexor. 
hands come down inside the foot, bring the right leg in, stretch the arm high. Find the flow in these movements in this class. Then from there, hands come down, reposition yourself, ready to thread the needle. Enjoying the movement as well as those postures. Lifting high, lower down, stretching back. Side bend. Right hand comes down, stretching over. Stay here, bring the knee up, or piece fingers to the big toe, stretching the leg high. Press that right hand into the mat for support. Release. Lower, downward facing dog. One full breath here, all together. Inhale and exhale, letting any thoughts, any worries just tumble down to the earth. Let's come really present. Then from there, let's step the right foot through, setting up crescent lunge. Feet are hip width apart. Knee, uh, left knee close to the mat, arms in a low V, open through the chest. From here, we wave forward. Coming forward, draw the core in and pull back, open through the heart. Coming forward like a tidal wave. Open, feel the expansion across the chest. One more just like that. And open this last time, stay with that or coming forward, warrior three. Either back toe down or if you're ready, lifting off. Hold wherever you are, three, two, one, lower the hands down, step back downward facing dog, lift the right leg behind you, open the hip, bend the knee, scorpion, keep the chest and shoulders square to the mat, then lift the leg high, lower down, we take the other side, stepping the left leg through, find your crescent lunge, right knee low, arms in that wide V, Let's flow forward like a wave. Exhale as you come forward. Inhale as you find the expansion. And again, exhale, inhale. Exhale and inhale, breathing air, breath into the lungs. Then come forward, either toe down or lifting off. Find your warrior three. Hold three, two, one, lower down. Let's take that once again. Oh, let's take Scorpion, lift the leg high. Better make sure we're even on both sides. Bend the knee, open the hip, Squ chest and shoulders nice and square to the mat. Lift the leg high, lower it down. Once more each side. Right leg steps through. Setting up, wide V with the arms. Let's flow, feel the movement coming forward, opening wide and forward, opening wide. Exhale and inhale, last one. Find your position, focus, hold. Step back, scorpion with the right leg. Left leg, right leg comes up, bend the knee, open the hip, eye gaze to the bottom foot. Extend the leg, lower it down, left leg comes through, last side. Setting up, let's flow. Exhale and inhale. Can you feel the energy as you flow through the movement? Exhale and inhale, last one, finding your warrior three position, hold, step back, downward facing dog, lift the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip, eye gaze to the bottom foot, lift the leg high, lower it down, and then walk the feet towards the hands, hang forward in ragdoll, feet are hip width apart, Relax forward over the thighs. Take a few deep breaths there. Relax the head. 
Maybe take the back of the elbows and take a gentle rock side to side. Good work, everyone. I hope you're feeling a little bit warmer now. Let's move on. Either keeping the feet hip width apart or toe heel them together. Stay low in the legs as you bring the hands into a prayer position, then rolling up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra, coming to standing. Then from there, fingers come wide, as wide as the shoulders. Press strongly into the right foot, lift the left knee. Coming to stalk. From here, left fingers come forward, left toes travel back. We're coming to a warrior three with arabesque arms. Find your position, feeling strong. Hold there, then lower down nice and slowly. Fingertips come to the mat, toe comes down. Let's take a twist over the right leg. Lower down. Press the bottom back foot down, warrior one legs. We're lifting up into our warrior one, flowing up, stay low in the legs. Baby back bend, inhale, exhale, baby back bend. Circle the arms behind you. Hands come down to the mat, standing split, lift the leg. Bending down, crouching low, tiny ball. Then lifting high once again. Coming low. Bring the left foot down, flowing up once again, other side. Standing up strongly, set your gaze, come to stalk. Right foot lifts off. Pressing forward, come to your warrior three, arabesque arms. Hold there, nice and strong. Lower down, lifting the left arm high. Hand comes down to the mat. Set the right foot, square off the hips, stay low in the legs. Coming up, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, baby back bend. Circle the hands behind you, standing split, lifting the right leg high. Lower down, crouch in. Lifting high again. Crouch down, feet come down. Let's take that once more each side. Now you know where to go. You can enjoy the flow. Stand on the right foot, lifting the left. Coming through, warrior three, arabesque arms. Nice and strong. Lowering down. Take your twist over the right side. Hand comes down. Pressing the back foot into the mat. Stay low in the legs. Lifting high. Inhale, exhale. Find that gorgeous back bend. Arms come wide. Standing split. Crouching low. Lifting high. Crouching low once again. Tiny ball. Feet come down together. Rolling up. Other side, lifting the right leg off. Flowing forward, warrior three, arabesque arms. Reach your fingers and toes away from each other. Lower down gently, take your twist. Hand comes down, press down through the back foot. Find that warrior one, graceful yet strong. Inhale, exhale, baby back bend. Circle the arms around. Hands come down, lift the leg. Crouching low. Lifting high. Crouching low into a tiny ball once again. Bring the foot down. Keep the feet hip width apart this time. And then roll up to standing. Ah. <sighs> Feeling good. Take a breath, take a moment, let's move on. From here, standing on the right leg, a little bit of a balancing sequence this time. Standing on the right leg, take the left foot across, toes can be down on the mat, or take the ankle, place the ankle on the thigh, sink low into the posture. And then from here, one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. 
doesn't matter which one and then take a moment deep breaths there can you find that sense of inner stillness in this posture then from there let's lift the arms high like you're taking chair pose with the arms and then from there like you're diving into a pool below arms sweep behind you bring the chest down towards the calf and then from there lowering the hands nice and slowly nice and steadily down to the mat take the foot down so the left foot crosses over the top and enjoy this time to fold forward feeling the stretch through the hamstrings and through the outsides of the hips Deep breaths there. Check that the neck is nice and relaxed. Lovely. Even though we could stay there a while longer, let's keep moving. Kick the right foot back, we're coming to triangle. Left toes directly in front, right toes at about a 45 degree angle. We'll stretch the right arm high, so the arms are reaching away from each other, hand either to the car, to the shin, the ankle, or the mat, and gaze either to the mat, the wall, or high to the sky. Keeping the body where it is, let's take extended triangle. Bring the bicep by your ear, and then feel that length through the side of the body from the right fingertips right down the shoulder and really down, pressing that right foot into the mat. From there, bringing the hands down, one more standing split, lifting the leg. Bringing that chest towards the thigh, you can bend the underneath knee as much as you need. Lower it down rolling up to standing and we take the other side standing on the left leg this left foot this time either taking the right toes on the mat or lifting the ankle off placing it on the thigh sinking low into the posture one hand to belly one hand to chest make sure that the shoulders are nice and open and breathe there Finding that sense of balance and calm. No matter what wobbles are going on in life, you can remain calm. Then let's lift the arms high like we're sinking down into a chair. Sweep the arms forward, diving into that crystal clear pool below. and then gently lowering the hands down to the mat. Right foot comes across. Find that lovely stretch through the hamstrings and the outer hips. Deep breaths there. And then kick that left leg back. Let's come to triangle. Setting up right toes directly in front, left toes about a 45 degree angle. Find the hand position that works for you and lift the arm high and make sure that the shoulders and hips are stacked one on top of the other. From there, reaching the arm over, extended triangle. Bring the hands down, last standing split, lifting the left leg high, best one you've got. Let me know how you go with it. Then we bring it down to the mat and let's come into some more stretching postures now. Step the left leg back. You can stay here for the lunge if that's enough for you with the hip flexor or heel toe the right foot wider bring the hands inside the foot find your lizard lunge up nice and high on the fingertips dropping down to the forearms and if it's in your practice reaching the arm around reaching for those toes 
Open through the right shoulder. Wherever you are, deep breaths. Letting the muscles know it's okay to relax, to release tension. Feels nice to be on the ground after all of those balancing postures. And then wherever you are releasing, coming out of it, heel toe the foot back into the center, pull back hamstring stretch. So coming here to your half split. And if it's in your practice, you're welcome to come to a stag leg split or to a full split. And then fold on forward. Remember, leaving your ego down beside you and just finding what feels right for your body. Let's take one more breath there. Inhale and exhale. I can hear the birds outside chirping. <laughs> A little bit of nature coming inside. From there, sweep the right leg behind you. Come to cobra pose, hands by the shoulders, just a gentle arch through the upper back. Then let's pull back, downward facing dog. Bring the left leg through, let's take the other side, sinking the right knee low. Staying here if that's enough for you or heel toe the foot a little bit wider, bring the hands inside the foot for lizard lunge. Find the option that you know is right for your body and go there. Sending the breath down into the stretch, into the muscles. release. Heel toe the foot back in. Find your hamstring stretch. Pulling back, keeping the hips nice and square. Staying present, staying right here in your practice. If you could come to the stag leg, please do. Or if you've got the splits, coming into the posture, relaxing forward. And then from there, take the, swing the left leg underneath you and we're going to take a chest stretch. From here, place the right hand at a 90 degree angle, press the left palm onto the mat, lift the left leg off, and then you want to take the, side of the, the right side of the head and press that right inner shoulder into the mat to feel the stretch through the right side of the chest. A really good one for posture. Heart rate's coming down. We're going to start to come into our, our deeper stretches, our longer held stretches. Let's take the other side. Left arm at a 90 degree angle, pressing the right palm into the mat, and then take the right leg over. Left side of the head, left side of the shoulder, press down into the earth. and then come back through center. Let's just take a little bit of back work. We're going to take a locust pose, which is really good for the posture as well. Reaching the fingertips towards the toes, inhale and then exhale, just lifting the upper back off. We'll hold three, 
two, and one, lowering down. Take a breath there, take a moment. We'll take that once again. Coming back to the center, inhale, exhale, reaching the fingertips towards the toes, hold. Three, two, one, working those muscles and lower down. Take a breath. We're going to come to bow pose. You can either take locust once again, like we just did, or for bow, you can take a half bow where you reach for one ankle and then swap to the other side, or come with me for a full bow. Hands reach for the ankles. Keep the knees in line with the hips so we don't let them splay out. Inhale, then exhale, lifting the upper back off. Press the ankles into the hands. Come to your bow. Hold. And release. Relax down. And then when you're ready, pull back child's pose just to stretch through the back, a bit of a counter posture. Then just staying with the back for a moment. Let's just walk the hands up, we're coming to camel. Knees are hip width apart, tuck the toes under, either come to this option and just hold the hands at the lower back, or if you have the range, reaching the hands for the ankles, press the hips through, press the heart open, find your camel posture. And ideally, eye gaze nice and high to the sky. Feel your heart opening. Keep breathing. And then tuck the chin in towards the chest, coming up, coming forward, child's pose once again, perhaps bringing the hands just in front of the head here, relax down. And then let's come to upper Vishta Konasana, or a wide leg V, taking the legs where suits you, so whether that's here or pressing yourself through a little more, once you've found the posture that feels right for you, let's inhale, exhale, walk the hands forward, bringing the gaze into the body, and just exploring the sensations you feel in your body, the breathing, the heart rate, the stretch through the inner seams of the legs. Deep breaths there. Letting the breath anchor you here in the present moment. And then let's walk the hands up. We'll take a side stretch. Right hand comes down next to the calf. Reach the arm high. Side stretch over. Reaching those left fingertips away from the left toes. And coming back up, other side, placing the hand down, stretching over. Enjoying it, embracing it. Coming up, drawing the legs together, using the hands if you need, and then just rotate the legs inwardly just to release the thigh bones in the hip socket. And then let's roll down onto the mat. From here, we're coming to a bit of a hamstring core exercise. Lift the right leg high. Either the left foot can be flat on the mat to start 
or stretch it long. And then inhale, exhale, scoop through the belly. We're taking a slow Pilates scissors exercise. So from here, swapping over, back to the right, and the left, the right, left, back to the right, and this time, enjoying relaxing into your hamstring stretch. Taking the back of the thigh, the calf, or the foot, and stretching the legs towards you. Aim to keep those hips nice and square. Deep breaths. And then we'll take the other side, drawing in through the belly, lifting the head off, swapping sides. Left to the right, back to the left. Keep drawing in through the core. Left and right, back to the left, finding the stretch. Remember, you can bend this knee as much as you need. Making sure there's no tension through the chest, shoulders, and neck. See if you can keep the whole body relaxed as you stretch. One more breath there. Release it gently. Let's come into our twist. Taking the knees across the body towards the right. You might like to lengthen the right leg out and just take the left leg bent. Stretch the left arm out and turn the head if it feels good. And then really enjoy that corkscrewing sensation through the whole spine. And then let's come to reclined fire log. Bend the right knee up, keep the knee open, take the left leg across, either foot on top of the thigh or on the calf, and then just let that left knee drop open. You might like to help it with the hand. Or you can release the hands and just let the legs and gravity do the work. Sending the breath down into the hips. And hopefully you're feeling that stretch through the fronts of the hips here. Then from there, let's take the other side. Finding your twist, stretching the left leg long, bending the right knee up, turning the head if it feels good and really relaxing into that twist. Breath really filling up the lungs. Coming back, finding reclined fire log. Left knee bent, right foot is flexed either on the thigh or on the calf. Right knee drops open. Finding what feels right for you and your body. Really starting to slow down now. We've worked the body, we've built some energy, we've calmed the mind. And now let's take our last posture, happy baby. Either the knees, uh, so knees are bent, take the arms behind the knees, the lower legs, or peace fingers to the big toes, draw the knees down towards the armpits, and maybe just a gentle rock side to side. 
if it feels good. And then let's come to our meditation. You might like to take the legs long in Shavasana. I'm taking extended butterfly today. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Sweep the arms up above your head. Take the back of the elbows. Relax the heart open and just breathe here. Inhaling deeply, letting the breath travel into the body, exhaling fully, relaxing deeper into the earth. And I will leave you here today for a little longer. Thank you so much for joining me for this lyrical yoga flow. I'd love to hear how you found it, so let me know in the comments. And I will see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for class. Remember to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe and press notifications so you're notified when classes come out each week.